Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for watching. So today I'm going to be doing a little extension of the previous video that I just did on DIY Easter decorations with Dollar Tree items. So I did have leftover Dollar Tree items for Easter. So I decided to finish decorating my house and combine these Dollar Tree items with some things that I purchased from Marshalls to decorate for this Easter celebration that is this Sunday. So if you want to learn how I made these really quick and easy DIYs, then please stay tuned and here we go. So I started by going to the Dollar Tree and getting these crystal candle holders. Then I already had these flower shaped acrylic trays that I'm going to put with the candle holder. Notice that I use crazy glue with the hot glue. So I'm using the burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree that is 9 foot and then I'm using my hot glue gun to put a little bit on each of the edges of the, the petal looking tray. So I'm going to do this to the rest of the tray and then I'll be right back. So excuse the lighting on this video. Anyways, I used a pink burlap ribbon to put a bow on one of the sides of the tray. So this is how I set up my dining table. I used green crinkled paper shreds to put inside of the container and I used plastic eggs that I got from the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys like it. So this DIY is super simple. You just go to the Dollar Tree and you buy these wooden chicks that aren't colored yet. So they're supposed to be uh, to hang on a place wherever you want to hang them. I decided to hang them on my fence. I already had the string on my fence and then I used, I used uh, some wooden clothespins to uh, pin them onto the string that I had already on the fence. And you will see in I put a picture of how it looks. So I went onto the Dollar Tree and I got this bamboo wooden cutting board and then I used the thin colored craft sticks that I also got from the Dollar Tree to put a frame around it. I grabbed a black marker and I wrote on it Happy Easter with nice handwriting that I just googled and I just copied off my computer. I used pink felt to trace a bunny and then I just drew a face on it and that was it. So I also got some pink ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I made a bow and I glued it onto the frame of this Happy Easter sign and I placed it on the bottom shelves uh, under my TV and this is how it looks like. Hope you guys like it. Next I used the thick craft sticks. I grabbed six of them and put them vertically. Then I grabbed two to uh, glue it um, horizontally and then another two to glue them horizontally again so I can make a fence. To save myself some time, I did get these uh, felt uh, chicks that I got from the Dollar Tree and they're already packaged individually and you just have to assemble them and I just glued them onto the fence. I did color the fence uh, pastel green and then I waited for it to dry, then I put glued the chicks onto the fence. I 
I again used the burlap to the burlap ribbon to make a bow and then I glued it onto the fence. So this wreath I got from Marshalls and it already came with artificial leaves on it and all I did was grab some burlap pink ribbon from the Dollar Tree and made a bow. Then I grabbed this white ribbon, like transparent ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped it all around the wreath to give it a little bit more decoration. This felt funny I got from the Dollar Tree and I just assembled it and put it onto the wreath and this is how it looks. So I hope this video was helpful to you and if you like it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and click that little bell button so you can get notified when I upload another video and see you in the next one guys. Bye!